<laughs> so this is one I know Ryan wants to talk about. So let's mm. get to it. Tiana Taylor mm. um, <laughs> won an award, um, and she had this uh, beautiful Father, prayer. Father, I thank you for who you are, all seeing, all knowing, and all powerful. Thank you for always making ways to remind me that you don't play about me, okay? Thank you. But also, I want to thank you for checking me and putting me in my place when need be. Correct me, Lord, because your word in Proverbs 12 and 1 says, whoever loves instruction loves knowledge. <laughs> but whoever hates correction is a fool, okay? <laughs> and one thing about it is I refuse... <laughs> And one thing about it is I refuse to be anybody's fool. What I love most, though, is even in correction, you still affirm me of your love. You surround me with people that stand with me in the different seasons in my life. My beautiful babies, my beautiful parents, my beautiful family, my friends, my beautiful team. I'm just so grateful for my whole village. Lord, you surprise me with the simple desires of my heart, and you amaze me with all the answered prayers. Thank you for being our faithful. Whew. Thank you, God. Thank you for being our faithful God who is always true to your word. Thank you for reminding my heart that your plan is far greater than any plan I could ever have for my life. Thank you for reminding me and all the amazing women in this room tonight that the wait was not punishment, but it was preparation for what was already written in the palms of your hands and your plans. Amen. Whew. I know. <laughs> oh, he's speaking through me, breathing to me, Lord. <laughs> Thank you for opening the doors that need to be opened. And in the midst of not playing about me, slamming them doors that need to be shut ASAP. And that goes for the windows, too. And I pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you so much. Thank y'all all. Thank you, Femi Forward, for having me. I'm so honored. Thank you so much. Best mom ever. <laughs> She's so sweet. All right, so sounded like a good prayer to me, Ryan. Mm. So why do you want to talk about this? Did I bring this up? I, oh, I did. I did bring this up. I yeah. put this in the chat. Sure no, did. I was just confused. So you know, I was just confused with her her body of work that she's done yeah that's um, nice to say <laughs> yeah yeah i was just confused about that um because but i was because she said you know you closed the doors that didn't need to be open but she opened up a lot of doors that probably needed to stay shut too uh, or she walked through a lot of doors that needed to stay shut too so i'm just i'm just confused as to when you know these when you see these things happening i mean it was a great prayer and i, I will say this though you know um i was actually I was actually doing devotion when I, I, I found that, right? No, I'm serious. Like, I was you in scroll, the spirit. Like, scroll I, no, the internet. No, no, no. I was in the spirit. <laughs> no, I was in the spirit. So, okay, I do devotion from my phone. And so it was put in it the track up. stars. It yeah, popped up. It popped up. Yeah. Um, but, but I, I was actually in the in process. There. Yeah. <laughs> put it in there. Oh, okay. Put it in there. Oh, okay. We'll no. check. We'll check before. <laughs> yeah, I was. I didn't even know who she was. Reese's. Um, but uh, what I'm saying is like that. That in, it interrupted me, and so whenever something comes in from Track Stars, I'm, I stopped to look. Like I was already scrolling out from Devotion and doing something else, but when I saw it, I was like, mm, "Something didn't hit me right." The prayer. Yeah, yeah. It was like um, you don't play about me, right? Okay, okay. You don't play about me, but I didn't hear her saying anything about like the things that she does. You know, as far as the roles she takes and things like that. She said you close these doors, but then I'm like. Okay, I would expect to go and find her doing these, you know, upstanding roles. And I was just seeing a lot of stuff that I was like, oh, this is what she's known for. Okay. Hmm. Okay, just so, me. so what if I don't know when this happened, but what if this is a new thing for her? It could be. It could be. Like I'm saying, I was trying to go back and figure out, like, does she talk about God in any <laughs> other platforms or in interviews and things like that? I didn't have the time for that. But what I did see was just so alarming. I was just like, oh, wow. So so <laughs> I, I think I think the reaction you're having is um, if this is what she really believes and it is recent, maybe it's recent, wouldn't you then scrub all the nonsense off your social media? Is that what you're saying? I would think so. I think a lot of people do that. I think a lot of people, I mean, I know a lot of people who've come to Christ and they are like, oh, let me get rid of all the ratchet stuff that I did or let me, you know, change my 
Instagram page and this stuff like that. Um, and I'm not sure if people are willing to do that because of, you know, the residual checks, the royalties that are that are attached to a lot of this stuff. Like she has a music video. It was five years ago, but it was the first video that popped up. And it was a music video where it was a strip club thing. But all the people mm -hmm. that were stripping were transvestites. Mm -hmm. wow. And I was like, uh, yeah, <laughs> whoa. This, or did like, you say five years ago? It was five years ago. Wait, but it's, it's still up. And so oh. I'm saying, like, you know, you're still making royalties off of this stuff. You're still getting money. So I was just confused as to, you know, how how She may be more of a liberal Christian, honestly. <laughs> she may be like a, um, when I say liberal Christian, more progressive Christianity. Like, more like open to LGBT and different things, but she still believes in Jesus. That's a real thing. That's a, basically what Jamal Bryant, like, excusing, saying we're sorry for... Um, the black church cheating you guys wrong and so stuff. She may be on that wavelength of because that which the way she was praying reminded me of those type of prayers in those type of churches. Mm -hmm. You know, you know what I'm mean? saying? The scariest the, the scripture that scares me the most in the Bible is depart from me, you workers of iniquity, I never knew you. Right. And every time I move and pray, I'm praying to God. I say that prayer almost every day. Lord, let me not be one of those ones that you spit out. Let yeah. me not be one of the ones you reject because I honestly genuinely have a heart for you and I want that reflected. Even though it's hard, you know, we go through, you know, so many different things in a day and you get hurt and you, you know, people hurt you and you want to lash back and you want to be a certain way. My whole thing is like if that causes me <laughs> to get that scripture read out to me in the Lamb's Book of Life, then no, I, I've got to I've got to work harder at this. So. I'm sorry, Ryan, but they're yeah. going in on you. <laughs> yeah, I was I was wondering because I could, I, you know, because here's my thing with her, right? <laughs> <Unrighteous> wrong, <laughs> I think I think the, the reality is she she's coming from a place, right? We don't know yeah. her her upbringing. We don't know yeah. she didn't have the beginning that you may have had mm -hmm. or I have had. You know what I'm saying? And so this is where she's at right now, yeah. and I. I'm grateful for her being right here right now yeah. saying that prayer being able to open up her phone and read Proverbs mm -hmm. because that shows she's taking time to yeah. read yeah. but there's also people who go to church every Sunday who shout and run to the front and still open up a bottle when they get back to the crib and so the the reality I think with her is yes you and, and it's hard because you'll meet an actor right an actor may and Denzel Washington is a good ex example he gonna cuss yeah. But he loves God. Mm -hmm. You understand? Mm -hmm. Old school. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But that's his craft. That's his art. So then in, in the world we live in, like what you're seeing is somebody yeah. who's an artist, who has a craft, who doesn't it, really her craft is really not God. <laughs> it's not God driven. Yeah. But she's going to have to make that decision yeah. to stop. But mm -hmm. I think her journey is her journey. Um, mm. And her walk is going to be her walk, but we have to love her through that to whatever it is. Because if we pull her apart at this stage right now, maybe a bad thing, right? Yeah, I'm just happy she opened up a book. I'm not saying she's right about uh. any of the decisions she's made. Because if you want to pull my card, I don't want nobody to post mine. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? At, Keep it a buck. Don't pull that. Don't pull yeah. that now one. You understand? <laughs> but um, I get what. What's you're your saying. old school rap name? I ain't even telling you, yeah. man. Oh, I went through so many. Go to Diller High School. <laughs> <laughs> like hey you remember man my, it was deceive man I, and you see what i'm saying it was deceive there you go mm -hmm. deceive all right so and that's what i was on mm -hmm. at the time but I, yeah. I feel like it's a hard place when people are entertainers because yeah. their craft is going to require something yeah. of them that may be secular and yeah. not christian based yeah. and so you as that artist have to then make the decision if i'm rocking with god 100 percent, it's time for me to put that down to your point mm. but you know i will i will want to love her through that so, moment so and Ryan, not pull her down this is this is how i see it yeah um, I don't know her story, so we're just going off of this clip versus the clips that came before it on her Instagram, right? Mm -hmm. I'm hoping that this is God sanctifying, right? To where the things that you're seeing that may not be right, God will work mm -hmm. through and get her yeah, attention. Sure. Just like there's things that we do, like people will look at us and say, why y'all still do that line for line thing? Yeah. Or why are you still in the frat? Mm. Or why are you still like, they'll, they'll, you see what I'm saying? Like yeah. there, there's things yeah. that people yeah, still real. in it. <laughs> ah. They'll say, you see what I'm saying? Yeah. They'll be like, well, you're doing such and such. You, yeah. the same thing yeah. we talked yeah. about earlier today, right? Yeah. So yeah. there's always something that Christians could like tear apart in, in us, right? Amen. The, what we're hoping for mm. with 
you, me, all of us, Tiana Taylor, everybody, is that God, they've surrendered, mm. and God yeah. is starting to say, well, Yeah, for sure. He gets to say, Well, what about this? Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Well, what about that right there? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. And hopefully that over time will. The yeah. problem is, though, is that she's in the industry that reinforces, Right. This is okay. Yeah. This mm-hmm. is okay. All that mm-hmm. stuff is okay. You being naked is okay. You know? Yeah. So it's hard. That's yeah. why I think. For, it's hard for a rich man and then a, a celebrity, especially yes. in our culture today, to come to Christ because there's so much telling you that this is how yeah. you have to be. Mm-hmm. So I'm just praying for yeah. her that if because de- obviously she sat and wrote this prayer out. Yeah, right? she Absolutely. did. Yeah. So yeah. She, did. she said Jesus. She didn't say God. She didn't say the universe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She said and that's Jesus. what made it different too. Yeah, yeah. that definitely. So made it I'm different. praying that if her love is really for Christ, and who yeah. knows, maybe her she just got out of her marriage. Maybe there was some stuff mm-hmm. that she needed to get away from in that situation. So maybe God having her by herself, maybe He's working on her. So yeah. I would just say, just pray. There's yeah. nothing in this prayer to me that was like outrageous, right. egregious, you know. So nothing yeah. to tear apart yeah. like that. So. Right. Just, just I just hope yeah. that if this is her real heart that God will start to to work on the things yeah. that we as 20, 30, 40 years in the game being a Christian is like, oh, that's so obvious. Why are you doing that? Yeah. You know what I mean? And yeah. I think you always have to examine your heart too on your walk because even though, you know, we, we are Christians, we fall short. We yeah. do things that you do have to examine your heart because I know I was dealing with a particular sin in my life and I, I really had a, a vain approach to it because yeah. a lot of my life is I want to be perfect, mm. right? Mm. And so in my perfectionism, right, I'm the only reason I'm talking to God about forgiveness is because I'm trying to be perfect. Mm. Not that I'm truly sorry. Not that my mm. heart is really open wow. to saying, God, I know that if you pull me today, my wow. eternity is in hell. So that's real transparency. That's real growth transformational growth and so i feel like as christians we got to do better at like you know we'll pull apart something quick you feel mm-hmm. me and i saying that's what you did you know, but yeah. but you get what i'm saying we'll look and it goes back to that jamal bryant yeah. clip all of it we're going to always be this yeah, tit for yeah. tat and until we look at ourselves and we look at our heart man yeah. if we don't transform our heart for christ and really live and really fear god all of what we say and what we think about people won't matter because when god come back you're going to be like, man, I thought, yeah. and then it'd be you and Lil Nas X at the same line. You feel <laughs> me? You don't want that. You yeah. feel me? You've been to church every Sunday. You feel yeah. me? That's a tough one. I'm going I'm to bring this home for, for me yeah. and Ryan. Yeah, so, yeah. like, um, you know, when we started the show, our big thing was, you know, we're virgins. We're mm. waiting till marriage. And we were mm. able to achieve that goal, mm. right? Um, but along the way, didn't you? don't you remember us having conversations on the show where it felt like it was just like you almost were starting to get proud of the title yeah, sure. uh, you know what i mean like yeah, where it's yeah, like yeah. you started you started doing it to, it was an identity yeah you started doing it to maintain the title instead mm. of actually trying to be pure you know what i mean like yeah. that yeah. that was a struggle i had right yeah. yeah for me it was felt it felt like if i kept that covenant with christ then i was going to stay on the path of <laughs> exactly. christ yeah. right yeah. and mm-hmm. and i think one of the things that you know um one of the things that brought me to to look through this was the last time we had this conversation i missed it with lady london I missed it. Oh, yeah. She recently did a, a cipher where she was just like saying everything under the sun that was wrong. And then she was like, and and I'm a Christian and I can say this and I don't care what people so, say. So and you, I was like, okay, I needed I to do my homework before. So this. your, your mm. worry is there's there seems to be a growing movement of people calling themselves Christians mm-hmm. and then saying it's still OK to do all this wrong stuff. Mm. Yeah. So I think that's what he's worried about. Okay. Is because like, this is another is, one of those. I have three Thank girls. You. Right. So if I bring somebody before my girls and I'm like, hey, it's cool to listen to them. They're they're they're, they're a Christian. But then they're like, oh, you know, well, what is a burlesque show? I want to act in a burlesque. And I'm like, where did we get that from? Oh, it was on her. It was on her Instagram. She did that a couple of weeks ago at, a, at one of her concerts. Like what? No, you can't listen to that. No, you can't follow her. Unfollow her. Yeah. That's how I felt. That's how I feel about it. So I'm just making sure that, you know, when we have these conversations, I look to see, okay, before I co-sign somebody, what, is, what are they really about? Because y'all are never going to let me forget this Kanye <laughs> stuff. They're never going to let me forget well, I think, I think I was thing, like, <laughs> he said, gee, we, we, we got I, 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 I think I think you're, you're, I think out of the three of us, you're easily duped. <laughs> no, no, and what I mean Ooh. by that, I, I say this. I'll no, say no, this. no, no, I have no. To be uh, proven wrong. No, I no, no. That. What yeah. I mean, easily duped, meaning yeah, yeah. like a celebrity could say, "Yo, I'm with Team Jesus now," and yeah. you be like, "Yo, such and well, such Team Jesus." It's not even and the me fact and Sean that, would be like, "It's not even maybe the fact we don't know." You know, <laughs> no, but, no, no. But, it's but the fact what that it is, no, but what it is, they recognize. But what it is is, I think your zeal to have somebody on a team is great. That's good. Yeah. And I think that's what it is. Because you yeah. said that before. It's like when we talked about 
um, I think we were talking about you in Alabama, and you was like, you. I think you telling him that you he got likes like to be on teams. Yeah, you like yeah, to be yeah, on yeah, teams, yeah. and you like that, yeah. and that's great. But mm-hmm. I think sometimes it's like, like I think for Kanye, for me, it was more like, okay, he did an album. It sounded like Jesus. We'll he did all yeah. this other stuff. So I give you the example that I use whenever I get. I mean, say usually duped. I'm sorry. Yeah, I know what you mean. <laughs> uh, I, I'll get I think, this. I think I think uh, bars and B said it right. Ryan's an optimist. Yeah. No, no, no. Yeah, I'll say yeah, this. That's good. It's yeah. I am. I, I definitely want people to be. That's true. That's you know, I, I want people's heart to be turned the right way. But right. I'll say this. I give this analogy all the time when I have this conversation. When people say something bad about Christian hip hop, where they say the music is this or the 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 video was that. Like I had a friend who I showed um, reconcile uh, mm. catching body. And he was like, this shouldn't be Christian anything. And I'm like, well, he's talking about bodies for the soul, like Mm -hmm. Christ, whatever. But I always give this analogy. If I'm walking down the street with my kids and to the left side of me is mainstream hip hop and to the right side of me is Christian hip hop, I'm going to take my kids down the path where we're walking closer to Christian hip hop. You want trustworthy people. I want trustworthy people that, you know, that are not going to. um, But this is not one of those opportunities this is a pray for a person yeah this is not a letter kids follow yeah. person Did, i was more i was more taken by the fact that she said jesus than anything right that so, was so that now, was what i was happy about. now pray that, yeah yeah that's, that's that's what i was that, happy about make, but make like a I new said, category <laughs> but like i said <laughs> put him on the stripe in the middle <laughs> the lady london thing completely threw me off yeah, that, that's, it completely that's threw me off. But so. I think you have to go back to Bible, right? The Bible mm-hmm. says you can't put your trust in man. You feel uh, exactly. me? So your pastor could be your pastor, and you you bring your kids around your pastor, and you're expecting this man to be upright. But yeah. there's going to be a place where that person falls short. Yeah. And so we can't give our children, and it's a hard thing to say, right? But it's like you you know how they'll be like, oh, I, that's my idol. You know, I tell my kids, don't say that. Mm, you know yeah. like cause you know that's a thing people yeah. say that's my idol that's yeah. idol that's my favorite idol you know yeah. and I'm like yeah. yo don't even go that route you know it's somebody you enjoy their music but you'll never really truly know the person yeah. and that's just a fact it doesn't matter if they came on every Christian platform and said we don't know what they yeah. do when the lights go off in their, yeah, in, in right. their, in their room so they'll appear and yeah, a lot yeah, of people yeah. do this and we all do it as Christians you'll appear holy but you're not living holy and so everybody is taking face value that you are what you say you are yeah. but yeah. God knows the truth yeah and so our goal with our children, with anybody, is to say, let me give you back to this Bible. Let me let you read what what is. And that the person perfect ain't going to be so artist think, one and two. 